Oof, it's time to record another Planet Coaster episode. You know what, before I do, I'm gonna browse the Blackpool Pleasure Beach merch website. Ooh, you're not thinking about buying that, are you? You don't need it, come on. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Oh, and you've gone and done it. I guess that's this month's rent not getting paid. So hey guys, and welcome to the video. That's right, today I'm gonna to be showing my big one running track in this video. So if you do go on to like it, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. So without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So this wouldn't be a merch video if I didn't do an unboxing. So first, before I show you it, let's get down on the floor and let's unbox this big one running track. Right, so here we go. Here is the big one track in the box. You may notice that um, it's got a big dent in it. That is complimentary to Hermes. Thank you, Hermes. <laughs> really appreciate that. Um, I can't find any good way to get this open, by the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice the box open. So here we go. Right, let's see what's in this. Okay, so I can see a um, thing so far. Let's open this and see what this is. I'm really trying not to rip what's inside this envelope. Here we go. So Blackpool Pleasure Beach, authentic ride pot certificate, original PMBO steel running um, rail track, um, 1994 to 2020. So I presume this piece of track, which is in here, um, which was literally removed this season, this closed season. So let's go ahead and have a look. We have a um, Blackpool uh, destination guide. That'd make a good read, actually. See what's in um, see what's in Blackpool. Ooh, got some um, stuff here. Right, let's get this open. So, I'm gonna open. This bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right. <laughs> so, um, as part of this package, you do get a piece of wood to keep the track steady. So this is it here. That is very, very nice. I love the finish on this. So here we go. You can see there, PMBO steel running track, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Wow, I love that. And it, ew, oh Jesus, that's heavy. Well, it's heavier than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> it's a big um, piece of steel. I don't know why I was expecting it to be light. <laughs> but. There we go, let's get this open. This is very well packaged. I'll tell you what, this um, I could work out with this. Oh. Right, you know, I'm actually gonna get in with the scissors here because this is proven to be harder than I uh, thought. Yeah, I'm I am hacking at this time to get it. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Wow. Oh, there's bits of um, bits of uh, whatever coming off it. But there it is. This is big one running track. Wow. Uh, yeah. By the way, um, all dirt is coming off on my hands, which is absolutely fantastic. But we'll leave that for now. Um, yeah. I can't believe it. It's, it's actually running track from the big one. Um, I. Love it. It's going to be a great item to have on display here at iCoaster Studios. Not sure where I'm going to put this yet. It may go on the shelf, it may not, um, but we'll have to see. But yeah, um, I am really happy with that. I will see you back in the studio. Right, so as you saw in the last clip, this is the track itself. I really like it, it's quite heavy actually, and I'll be talking about that more in a second. So you may be thinking, Ryan, I thought you didn't like the big one. Why did you buy this running track? So um, yeah, 
I thought that whilst I was buying it. So um, I had to get this. It's the second roller coaster that me and Oakley Doakley ridden um, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach when we were there for the first time. Um, and over lockdown, I've been learning more and more about the big one and its heritage and how it was built, etc. Um, and I've really grown a new appreciation for the big one. Does this mean I'm still gonna like the ride experience? No. Will I grow to like it? Probably, um, but I have got a bride part for the big one now. So when I bought this off of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, merchandise website, I didn't realize that this was going to come with um, a stand. I really like this stand. Um, it's got a really nice finish to it. Um, there's no splinters anywhere. It's not varnished, unfortunately, um, but this was made in-house by the Pleasure Beach themselves. Um, but even though it isn't varnished, it is still really nice sanded down um, and this um, groove here um, is fits the um, running track perfectly so I just wanted to talk about the condition for a second um, I really like the condition of this track um, you can tell that it's been operating since 1994 um, I yeah I, I, I really like it it's got running marks everywhere um, it's crazy to think how long this has actually been in operation. When I bought this off of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach website, I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger, I'm not gonna lie, um, because when you stood next to the track itself um, and you're looking at the actual running um, track, it's, it's, it looks really big. <laughs> it doesn't look this small. Um, but yeah, this is basically it. If you're wondering how heavy it is, by the way, this is a four kilo dumbbell here. Um, and unscientifically, they weigh about the same. So one of the questions you're probably asking me is, where are you going to put this? Um, and I really don't know. So there's absolutely no space on that shelf over there. Um, and all of that is taken up by Lego models at the moment. So I'm trying to find a space for it. Um, it's probably going to go on top of my, my amp over there. I'm probably gonna move those um, resins somewhere um, and have it there, um, but that's still to be decided. Um, Going back to the condition of this thing as well, um, it is a bit dirty. You can tell they've literally just um, sawn a part of the running track off of the big one. Um, but that's absolutely fine. If you look back um, through my channel and you find my um, big one upstop wheel restoration video, that was covered in grease as well. So um, I don't um, think that Blackpool Pleasure Beach clean their ride parts before they sell them to the general public. But again, that's absolutely fine. Um, I didn't mind um, cleaning the Big Dipper upstop wheel myself, um, and I certainly don't mind um, giving this a quick um, wipe down um, with a, a lint cloth. So I really do think that this is a great addition to my merchandise collection. Um, I do really want to start collecting a lot more ride parts for my collection. Um, I am probably going to have to put up another shelf at one stage. I did think about going out and buying a bookshelf um, to put where the icon poster is now um, and move those guitars over um, to where you, you can't see off camera um, just so I can fit uh, merchandise on. Um, but yeah, this won't be the last piece of um, ride part that I will be buying. So one thing that I did want to talk about in this video as well is this ride authenticity certificate. I really feel like they could have done a better job with this um, just because it's printed on a piece of thick paper. Um, it is good and it does prove that it's an authentic ride part but I just think that anybody could print this. Um, in all honesty, um, it'd be nice if they were to get an official Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, certificate design um, and they had a specific, um, you know, theme to it and um, they had some kind of holographic um, sticker on it somewhere. Something along those lines just to make it look just a little bit more official and not like it's been printed off of an office printer. So guys, if you have any questions about this running track, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. I know this has been a short video, but I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.